Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Layers of Fear. So lead us, oh captain. We will remember. follow you across the seven seas. Oh shit. Oh god yet. Remember now. Do I need to? What am I doing here? I have to shoot these cannons. Soul pays its debt. One more for the abyss. Go away, go away. it done it's forever okay. we got the last film I think She lied to me. 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 Okay. That's it. Ah. Oh. What the hell? bad happens what if I can't find you Shh. listen to my voice hold it deep inside and I will always be there for you forever Five can move. What? Just 
tragedy of the proportion British cruise ship crashes at sea, half of the passengers lost. Not expert and uh, experts on Yemen alike are shocked to learn that the state of the art cruise liner sunk to the bottom of the Atlantic in the early hours of the morning. The ship's maiden voyage turned out to be its last. Tragedy struck on the fifth night of the voyage when a fire broke out in one of the engine rooms. Despite the attempts from the crew, the flames spread throughout the lower decks, causing a massive explosion in the boiler room that breached the integrity of the hull. While the exact number of casualties are still unknown, the latest estimates claim that just over 1,000 passengers and crew approximately half perished to the fire or was lost to the cold depths. It won't be me when you see me again. You are so... what? Getting out, whichever way, as long as just anything better displays. They find a new slide. No, seen this before. This was new. Also, this thing was new. Tape, yes. Have I offended you, James? No, I just. You just don't want to talk to me anymore. I, I don't know what I want. They say that the game's trying to. Game's <laughs> Star. He has really can come to. Our dreams. What's really important to you? Mm-hmm. Your dreams can stay with you forever. <laughs> Turn black and white. Flame truth become break the cycle here and now stay in the loop forever. Who lives, who dies, who the fuck am I? Him, her, him, her, him, her, me. Now they knew why they feared freedom, why they hid, mm. flowed with the tide, and pretended to be one with the void inside them. Now in place of the void, there was a sea. Restless, roaring, terrifying. Once they saw it, once they lit a flame in their soul, there was no turning back, no other way. Again, they felt the eyes of eternity upon them. They were here before. They faced that choice in the past. They felt the stare. Now, for the first time, they stared back.
This place, it feels so familiar, like I've been here before, and yet I can't find my way. There has to be a way. Do you see now? You tried to fix me. Instead, you broke yourself. It. Peter for the Peter. Peter for the Peter. Door after door, all lead to where I come came from. All lead to nowhere. Cannot get out to go out. You tried so hard to bring me back. You called out to me from the void, but something else answered. Okay.
Okay. Go back. How long has it been? I don't remember anymore. So hard to remember. I feel myself sleeping, growing pain, and it keeps growing. It won't let me go. Sometimes, it's better not to be, to burn away completely. There's no place for me here. Only you, whoever that is. I hope you'll be brave this time. I don't think I can. I cannot. You, you cannot help me. Not even now.
Wherever I go, it follows. I cannot be free of it. A formless shadow. My shadow, it keeps shifting, changing, and I can't change with it. Don't touch me. What? Go away. Have you done? We shooting the oh. okay, there are two doors. Let's see. Didn't. Hmm. What did I miss? Uh... Always there, one step behind, stretching over me, pulling me in, shedding skin, changing into what?
Sometimes it's better to find your own way, to accept what was lost, to accept the pain and feed your own fire. How many lives have you buried just by merely existing? Existing, but never being. Wouldn't it be better if you just went away? I think I had to do something with this fossil. Ah, shit, it's locked now. Get back. Going to happen. Oh. I am done. All of us. We cannot be forever. The 
Uh-oh. Go down. Yep. I think that's the way. Finally, I understand the way out. It's here, in me, me, you. Who are you? That's a good question. I have no idea. Who are you? How long can a man burn before he turns to ash? How can you know? Of all the wasted years, of all the pain it took, You don't even know who you are. How many times must a man die before he can truly live? How many times? Look at it. This is what happens when you fail to take control. the way you build one character you destroy the other there's no other way you act on instinct you see you react it's so easy to pull your strings you hesitate you look for a better way nothing is ever easy you struggle against the current fight against all odds. Ah. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only... James! Lily! Ah. James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you! I will.
So who died? The sister or the brother? It seems both of them are dead because we saw the boy's ghost. But this character that we are playing right now, who is she? Is it the writer or the sister? What's past is past, what's gone is gone. The door is shut and the curtains drawn. The, the lands that, that are no longer there. there. The, the dreams, dreams we, we did, did not, not get, get to share. share. When all we love is stripped away, a boy must leave, a man must stay. And yet, there is still hope, you see. But you are still a part of me. Although the boy has ceased to be where there was I, there shall be we. The holy flame, it burns away. It shows us there's another way. Let us be together forever and ever and ever. What's said is said, it's time to eat. I'm sure you'll find me quite a treat. What the hell happened? The boy is still alive. I honestly didn't fully understand the last part. Huh. We've read all of this. What should I do now? Story's done.
and get in the room anymore. It's going to be the same thing or the ending. You're going to burn it. have the power to set free and you were right i think you should stay here no 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 focus on your writing So the, what about those other stories? Chapters. Hmm. So there are three endings for Painter. We got only one. What about Actor? What? I didn't get any of the endings? What the hell does that mean? What was that then? I'm confused. Why we haven't unlocked any ending? When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling. Listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother. Scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Sickness, insanity, and death were the angels that surrounded my cradle and the blah blah. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight? My line of work one becomes used to receiving all kinds of correspondence, offensive letters from failed authors, threats from offended readers, I guess you could say it comes with territory. However, never in my 20 years of running a publishing house have I read anything quite like your recent letters. While I always try to keep my composure in light of your continuous and increasingly enthusiastic output, I find it exceedingly difficult to reply in a civilized manner. Hence, let me be painfully clear. We at Marshall and Waters take pride in our numerous publications, especially our acclaim. Slight. Uh, uh, where was it? Oh, I lost the line. Oh, our, 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 our staff of theme academics work tirelessly to provide our readers with the most up to date information and include the latest scientific data. 
Unfortunately, your findings have nothing to do with real science and visual references you have provided, although impressive from a purely artistic standpoint, are not proof of anything. Honestly, your continuing attempts and redefining the rat and exposing its true wild nature have turned from being simply tiresome to deeply disturbing. If this was most misguided attempt to at performance art, then I must say I find it in very poor taste. If, however, you were being serious, I humbly advise you to seek professional help. In either case, I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you. What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense. Finally, are you ready to embrace true art? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and experienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. No! Put that down! You are doing so well! Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color! That won't make it boring or predictable. Asshole father. What if I just pick up the crayon no. again? Put mm. that down. What are you doing? Put that down. You're much <laughs> too old for that childish nonsense. Is there anything else here? through the woods, when suddenly, out of nowhere, jumped out you know who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors, and yet the big bad. Shh. Be careful, little girl, the Shh. big bad wolf sneered. Shh. You're in fantasy land, where things Shh. ain't what they seem. Shh. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. Shh. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic Shh. crayons, I can do no harm. Shh. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass Shh. into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with a show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, I humbly urge you to practice restraint, for you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun, and you want me to learn. I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a mincemeat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed the mouth to smithereens.
adventure. Let's see. Creativity me out. is not a toy, it's a gift. Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? Oh shit, what happened to you? I warned oh, you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! Get up. came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, which way should I go? Up jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Do not be afraid. I'm not gonna bite. I just want to help you in making your choice. Come now, be reasonable. Listen to my voice. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew through a lovely field of corn, all covered in dew. But the field grew dark and full of despair. An eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar. You have chosen poorly. You will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could. Her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood, but she quickly got tired, worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light. One is new. Okay. Let's go this way. Your dad took it. What happened to my flashlight? Can't use it anymore. What the? Oh shit! Can move. Oh, what the hell? Take it out. This is so weird.
see. The hell should I do now? Finally, are you ready to embrace true art? I don't want to do that again. I want to continue crayon path if there is any. Flashlight can see. Oh, okay. This one is new. the hell does it mean? This is so weird. Found another crayon. Are you trying to annoy me? Yes. This is not what I've taught you. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. What? You think I'm enjoying this? You think I'm doing this out of spite? 
Hey. How are you? Okay, now what? Not much. How are you doing? Him nothing. Why pink? Seriously, what the hell happened to my flashlight? What? What happened? Did I die or something? The what? <laughs> I don't know about that. Where am I? What what's happening? This this one is really weird. I have no idea what's happening. And I lost my flashlight. I don't know what happened to my flashlight. I can't see shit. Don't like this. <laughs> right. Thanks. Guess. I mean, yeah, you can do it. It's not illegal to do that, I guess. What the? Hell? Oh, fucking hell. What I'm supposed to do here in this game? I think this is a DLC of the original game, but I'm not a big fan of it so far. It's very unclear what to do here.
Oh. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Okay, I found another crayon. Do it. I think I can move to the next part. Let's check here. Yes. Go. The fuck. And we have the crayon. I hope you're satisfied with yourself. Stop crying. We'll pick this up tomorrow, and I swear to God, I better start seeing some progress. Looking back, I don't think my father ever really wanted a child. <laughs> it's no wonder I was never truly allowed to be one. No, no, what he wanted, above all things, was a successor. Someone to carry on his legacy. Anything else was just a distraction. Why pink? Okay, are we done with this room? At least this flashlight doesn't have any... Oh! Doesn't have any battery meter or something. On the downside, it's not very bright. No, that's not how it went. Maybe. I told you never to come down here! Once again, implore you to give me back my daughter. Give her back. 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 With this regards. Why wait for hell? You deserve it now. You're not getting away this time. What the hell are you doing in there? Get out! Can't. Stuck. What? Oh, oh, it reeks in here. I swear that dog does. 
doesn't shut up! What? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. National Kennel Association Certificate of Degree Popiel blah 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 Dear friend Today, before I leave for my new appointment I intend to make one final attempt to communicate with you since you have obviously decided not to answer my calls or letters, I shall endeavor to speak with you in person. If you're reading this, then I have clearly failed, and for that I apologize. Should you choose to ignore me, I will slip this letter under your door. Hopefully you can at least read it, for all time's sake. If me knocking on the door has caused you any discomfort, please know that that was not my intent. I wish I could tell you that I've found some miracle solution to your problem, but unfortunately, such is not the case. Do know that as your legal representative, I always did my best and that is the God's honest truth. Unfortunately, I feel that the issues you're struggling with go way beyond my expertise. At this point, I once again feel the urge to ask you to reconsider seeking professional help, but let's be honest. If you were to listen to me, you would have done it a long time ago. I regret it had to end this way. Know that you and your family will always be in my thoughts. Your old friend, James Jerome Sadler, attorney at law. Shit. I think every room here. Let's go upstairs. Ah, uh, what's wrong with this thing? No, 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 don't do that. there please please help me it hurts oh, it hurts so much I can't take it anymore mm. yes thank you it's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world Locked.
there. Wait for babies. I'm in here. Hi. Sure. Sure. And here. Oh. What's wrong with you? Hey there. Oh, come on. Don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here. Try for yourself. All right, what? Oh, again? No, no. That, that's not quite right. <sighs> Still not quite there. Oh, now this mother's turn to get angry. Beautiful family. Yeah, I got the crayons, I think. Go out. Guess. Oh, fucking hell. This smart. More jump scares so far compared to the previous months. You have to go up there. What time is it? Painting, sleeping, painting, hiding, painting, crying, crying, painting. <laughs>
Ow! Oh, hey, Princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old peg leg. Oh, there, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just tired. So very tired. You have to find those three pieces. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Same place again? Huh. Guessing that I have to find that piece here before I move forward. Shadow was there before. No, yes. Okay, so um, are we done in here? Yeah. 
Maybe I have to go back to that frame. Just put all these pieces there. Was that frame? I don't remember. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Dear. What? Come out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. without you. She has it. She had an accident with the dog. What was that? Oh no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine. Oh, please. Oh, it hurts so much. Why won't you help me? Why are you punishing me like this? Whatever I did, I'm sorry.
Missing cat. Mr. Scooter, reward all my dollies. Contact at. She was a cat person. Like me. I think I have to find something else. Yep, can't move forward without finding something for that kitty. Painting is changing. So whatever it is should be here. Nothing else here. Is it a bug? Maybe I have to. Oh. Don't see anything else here. There is a... Oh, I see it there. It's up there. Uh, okay, now the question is how do I get there? Good. 
least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hate. What happened? I have to follow this. I hate you. Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me. Admit it. Right. I am disgusted with you. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Do I need to follow you? I can't get in. Okay, thank you. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes, now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, Declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly. Bleeding him dry, just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consume the love of my life in hopes they will devour him, along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls a family. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my brain and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. This fucking painting is still here. Now your own room. Not this one I'll do, the other one. It's 
asshole empty. Hmm. Was expecting to major thing happen in this room. Nothing. Seriously? Nothing. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she... <clears throat> Princess, keep looking at me. As her eyes it adjusted to the darkness, <laughs> she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And look at me! <gasps> Do you want this story to have a happy ending or not? And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. Oh, God damn it! Not again! Fine! Because the princess wouldn't stop fidgeting, she was set upon by the evil witch's minion and dragged off into the darkness, never to be seen again. Hmm. The end. My fault. It was always my fault. All I had to do was stay still. Day after day, for hours on end. Until he would finally get it right. I've lost count of how many attempts there were, but each one made me feel like I was his greatest failure. So, would have been different if I just tried to stay? Wonder. So it's locked forever now. What? No. What happened? been through stay here your mother and I need to talk this is all you have for me and of all places you chose this room you think I don't hear that stop crying don't make me come in there so many memories this this one room filled with more memories than I can count I thought I told you to be quiet! Oh, the lovely memories. I imagined him standing there, all smug and pleased with himself, thinking this piece of canvas was somehow going to fix everything. I imagined what I would say to him, what I would do. My daddy... You shouldn't have. Really shouldn't. That's it. That's it. That was it. Hmm. Got one ending again. This is most confusing to me. I mean, why I didn't get any of the ending of the actors' story? I don't understand. 
That's so weird. Okay. The only thing left is the musician. Probably going to. I don't know. I don't know how much is the musician story. Let me check. See if I can play it now. Seems about one hour. Okay. I might try to play it. Let me take a break. I will be back. Okay, let's see if we can finish this game. My first memory is that of hitting a piano key. My small, chubby finger. The cold, smooth ivory under my skin. And then, acceleration. Pure joy as I heard the immediate response to my action. The sound that appeared just because I pressed that key. I'm not gonna let it go. I won't be imprisoned. had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. Neither of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. I need someone to confide in. And that someone is me. Hush now, my baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. 
there was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love, the most beautiful thing. And you need to work on your handwriting, it's pretty bad. After some time, they had a child that brought light to their life, a lot of light. She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys. And even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. Then, one day, there was a fire. It took from Mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. And then, she found a very sharp knife. But whatever object I see, this how I looked. It will become my story. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in. Morphine prescription. So we got back to where we started. Oh, yeah, it's a loop. I need to change this painting. It away I can't look at it and don't try to bind me again
think I check this. Let's turn one more time. I hate this, but it seems simpler than playing the violin, for now. you. This prison would be unbearable. I need to break free. Is I able to get that? felt like a goddess when you looked at me, when you painted me. I fell asleep posing, and you didn't wake me up. You just kept working until you could barely stand. That was when I knew that it's you that I want. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyls. Also seems to think it helps. We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bedroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open. It was a good half hour before a maid showed up. 
I don't understand. I lock the door in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable. Getting a smaller. Okay, what should I do? Just wait. Even my instruments have their prisons. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. Well, I think I have two options. Age it or Maybe set it you free. Want to fly away into the unknown and learn how to breathe again. Let's put it here. Would it be better outside? They die. What? What happened? I think I died. Yep. Run. Run. I know it now. I'm measured. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. I feel like my life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks. is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. Looks like the work of a person afraid to change his surroundings. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. 
who hates to see even his loved ones out and about and free, a man who will imprison his family just to stop them from getting better than him. Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them. If I had them listening, this here, it was my place of power. The day after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin, and I just couldn't grasp the bow. The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it at all and not letting go, not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles, like every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. A painting as boring as this one could be conceived only by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man, locked in a bland, boring prison. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work, there's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I... I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you! Not with the doctors! We can't let that accident take our life from us. I'm so glad you're all doing well. 
Are you sure, though, that you should be planning a journey abroad already? Traveling can be exhausting, even in the best circumstances. Give yourself time to heal, please. So this is the voice of the writer. I thought that said, basically, she is writing this story, but it seems in they are really friends. I try to think of better times. Of our engagement, of the exhibition we did together. His paintings on the walls, my music in the air. Freedom. The thing that I noticed is this game constantly try to show everyone in this story. Uh, it's not going to make one person bad. I mean, Trapped all of them are responsible house. somehow. In my it's head. not their fault. It's trying to say that it's not their fault. They had some problems, both of them. They had to do their best, but yeah, all these things happened. I started practicing again. It isn't much and is frustrating, but it feels good. Keeps telling me that I should be careful. I don't think he believes I can get better. I think he likes it that I'm locked here, in this house, in my body, with him having all the control. All these hours at the piano, with the violin, with the flute, I didn't want to create art. I wanted to be art. You saw that, and it felt as if something new opened in me. I saw it open in you as well. New possibilities, new ways to make beauty. This is where we pretended to be normal, sane, stable people. Where the shackles were the heaviest. Nothing here. Oh, am I missing anything? A library is so much more than just a room. It's an escape. Hundreds of escape exits. No way from here, that way was blocked too. There's a child who needs you. I understand this is hard. I, I understand that you're in pain. But you are a mother, for God's sake.
practice makes perfect. to free up all those chains. It's a grown man. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, comfort you, and keep you in sickness and in health. You know the damage the flames do better than anyone. Don't set yourself on fire to keep him warm. One both of these going down. How do I get that? down. walk the earth and it almost killed me with margaret i give myself more space to breathe to be myself i am happier for that and the children seem to be happier too Nothing left of her now, but the sadness, the sadness remains. On the stairs. I feel like it's the house that is moving around me, not me moving around the house. My head is spinning. shouldn't be so prominent in a three or maybe two-year-old, but I remember it clearly. The realization that the piano would do what I wanted it to. The feeling of complete control. 
From that day, I strived for it. Something behind here, I think. Maybe not. Even the sky is shackled with chains. Do you remember the saying that behind every great man stands a great woman? Your husband has the bearing of a great man. But without your help, without someone who's always there for him, who keeps the home fires, he will wither and die. You proved yourself to be a strong woman. I know you have it in you to be there for him, even now. The tragedy that hurt you hurt him too. I know you have compassion in your heart. Reach for it. more chains are out there just release that team okay. go that way is down can I I have to I have to get it back I, I have to learn to write again oh I see because of the fire she couldn't write properly what should I write There's no coming back to how I was. Like I'm always bound. I 
this room is free. All I wanted was for her to be happy and free. There's always a way to connect with the things we love, and this way is acceptance. Not so fast! There was one reason for her to be strong. Her little daughter. But it was all wrong. <laughs> Wait for mommy. They tried to play, but it was insane. To caress a child with hands bound with chain. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. I'm so glad that you're doing well. I already read that. What? Just talk. What the hell? Talked. <laughs> what happened? I think I picked up that note very soon. Game broke. Things are going better now. Truly is a miracle child. Quiet, well behaved. Does everything I ask her to do. Little obedient prisoner of this place. Just like me. I need to do more. If they see me playing a sonata, they, they won't lock me up. What happened to them is, of course, tragic. But it was also something that happened to you. As your relationship changes, your art will change with it. 
You should take extra care of yourself in this difficult period. As far as beauty goes, this painting is the antithesis of it. A slap in the face of aesthetic. Does the man who painted it even understand what beauty is? Or did whining about the ugliness of his surroundings strip him of the ability to perceive and create art? In the prison of his own mind, beauty ceased to exist. What is left of it now? Of our love, so pure, so ideal. When all I am is blood and pus. A pile of screaming flesh locked in a prison that is this house. No wonder you run towards your canvas. No wonder you love your art more than me. Everything in my life is tainted now, soaked in ever-moving shadows the flames cast on me. They surround the cell I'm locked in, and there seems to be no escape. Yesterday, I, I played with our daughter for a while. She was a bit shy at first, but then she loosened a bit. Started to laugh and dance. I felt the happiness coming. It, it was just at the door. And then, like a guard in a prison, feeling that I might just catch a glimpse of freedom, the pain came. I saw the fear in her eyes. In her mind, I must be a maimed monster, haunting her worst nightmares. there? Yep. I hope she picks up music again. It would be such a loss for the world if she didn't. I pray she still has it in her. The rotten heart of our house. There was a time when I couldn't spend a day without crying. But now, I don't even want to do that. It's like my emotions are locked in their own cage, and I can't even be bothered to look for the key. Playing with our daughter is usually a joyous occasion, one of few left in my life. Today, though, I had to ask her to leave almost mid-sentence. It's all these questions. How do you feel, Mommy? What do you think, Mommy? 
Mommy, why are you sad? What is your name, Mommy? I don't know, darling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything but the fact that my chains grow heavier every day. Part of me do I want to destroy? I can't help but thinking that what's happening to me is right on some level. I deserve to be imprisoned in this body, in this house. After all, what can I bring to the outside world? Why should anyone love me, admire me, seek my company? The symptoms you're describing aren't uncommon, especially among women and artists. Being that you are both, uh, you are naturally more prone to hysteria and melancholy. I'd suggest avoiding extreme emotions and spending time in, in peaceful surroundings. In fact, we have a center for troubled women here in just over the sea. We had another argument today. Asked if I was feeling all right, and I just snapped. I don't understand why I'm being treated that way. The, the accident was ages ago. And I left largely unscathed. I'm fine now. It's like he wants me to be locked in this house forever. He was hurt. I could see that. And as ashamed as I am to admit it, it brought me a bit of satisfaction. What have I become? I wrote to the doctor, declining his offer. I won't be locked up. I, I won't let them. I will get through this on my own. This is my head.
Pathetic, you weakling. You claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? My true self. I am perfect. Nothing can hurt me. This is just a test, and I'm passing it. Everything is fine. See what has opened up downstairs. This one. My husband's palace. When he locked himself in there, the whole house felt like a prison cell. Okay, we lost our flashlight too. So, what should I do? I think. I'm sorry for the late answer. These letters are hard to read for me. I don't sleep because I'm thinking about you and your misfortunes. I need a break after each letter. And when I come back to it to write the answer, there's always a matter of deciphering. Your handwriting. I'm sure you know it's not as beautiful as it used to. Yesterday I was woken up by, I think, the most terrible sound I've ever heard. Like a sick cat being slowly strangled. It took me a long time to realize it was the violin. She picked it up and tried to play. I think there's no coming back for her. Their daughter's turn to say something. From what you write, this whole situation no. is very hard for your child. Maybe you should spend less time with her. I know it's painful, but I believe it will be for the best. You both need time. I think she changed too much. That this is not the person I loved. That this is not a person I could ever love. I think you fully understand your condition. You have been in a terrible accident and you are, to be honest, lucky to be alive. 
not to mention writing letters, demanding of your body to come back to normal. To be healthy is like demanding a broken mirror to fix itself. Uh, you're doing great progress and you're healing, but I'm afraid things won't be back to normal. No doctor on earth can make the pain go away. I'm truly sorry to tell you that, but you will have to learn to live with it. I hope you'll understand one day. All my life, I was told to strive for perfection. And I didn't strive, I achieved it. I was the most talented musician, the most inspiring muse, the most caring mother, the perfect wife. I never accepted my own weakness as an excuse. And then it caught up to me. Now there is no coming back, the life we had. Alone. There's no use. How could they understand it if I don't? I think I just need something that will work. I need this to end. There is no coming back to the perfection I once had. No coming back to chaining myself into the roles people want me to play. No coming back to crushing my soul under others' expectations that I think are my own. There will be no coming back here. I'm ugly. I'm disabled. I'm useless. I'm free. She went outside. Okay. That's it, I think. Let's see. The musician accept that. No, this. Okay, that's it. That's the game. We finally finished it. It was a long journey and visually amazing. Not very terrifying from the horror standpoint, but overall, I think it was a good game. Kind of enjoyed the storytelling of this game. Okay, probably not going to play other. I mean, to play to see other endings. Probably I'm going to see on the. YouTube or something there that's too much work to see all the endings hope you guys enjoyed this episode and the whole series don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll see you next one take care and have fun